How's it going everyone? It's Drew Peoples from Peoples Collectibles and today we're going back to Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth and we're only kind of sort of going back because we only have one pack. That's right. A single set booster. The other day I was uh, cleaning out uh, my storage uh, just trying to get my uh, my shelves and everything in, in a better more proper order and there was one box I had with like bubble mailers and such in it and I, I took everything out to, to sort it better <laughs> there was just a random set booster in there so yeah I don't know how exactly it got in there it's, it's still sealed right yeah so I'm guessing um, I had bought quite a few of these gift bundles when they were on sale months and months back i think it was like 80 bucks on, on walmart for a gift bundle which my god if i could go back i i would have bought even more if i could have um because yeah i mean the ring you know those gift bundles you get eight set boosters a collector booster pack in the original lord of the rings collector boosters which honestly in some ways kind of disappointing compared to the uh the holiday collector one after the uh you know the one ring's been found you can still get the the serialized soul rings but you know the excitement obviously was around the one ring and then the uh second round of collector boosters have the the showcase scrolls uh cards but anyway point being um i'm sure this pack is from one of those gift bundles and you know i'd opened them all up and i took all the packs out and sorted everything before cracking the packs and I don't know how this ended up in a box with like poly mailers, but it did and it seems to still be sealed. So we're going to see if uh, Lady Luck, you know, did me good. That was like another thing that I'd randomly found months and months back was a, a borderless old gnaw bone. And I remember I had pulled it from a pack and the price wasn't quite right at that point. So I had put it in a top loader and sleeved it and put it in a team bag. And I put it in like one of these, um, those boxes that come with uh, the magic bundles. Am I gonna go find one real quick? I'll go find it. You know what I'm talking about. Those little like black box. It was just in one of those for some reason. And then I had put that aside on top of all the other um, like little black uh, planeswalker boxes that I had. And then I forgot it was in there <laughs> until one day I was going through them and I was like, wait, there's, there's some weight in this one. There's something in here. And uh, show enough, it was a uh, old, uh, old knob bone. All right, starting off with the foil planes. All right, we see something back there, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. There's plenty of like showcase, you know, commons and the like. That is a uncommon. So we were correct in what we saw was nothing. Gandalf the Grey, all right, and phew, Soar on the Dark Lord for the Foil Mythic. All right. I mean, obviously not the the biggest Mythic hit by a long shot. Um, he's definitely um, gone up in recent time, if uh, memory serves me correctly. But, uh, yeah, that is a, that's a clean enough looking copy. All right, friggin' sweet. Yeah, I mean, again, it's not a, what is, well, obviously the one ring. I was like, wait, what's the big mythic from this set? Oh, yeah, the thing, obviously, the ring. Um, yeah, I mean, it's obviously not a foil ring uh, or something to that extent. But, I mean, goddamn, it's Sauron. And, yeah, again, like, it's the regular art. It's not the special art, but. As far as uh, free packs go, uh, finding a pack randomly in, uh, you know, bubble mailers and there being a foil Sauron in there, that's, that's freaking sweet. All right, well, that made my day, and uh, I hope everyone else is having a freaking sweet day, too. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Drew Peoples, Peoples Collectibles, adieu.